gentlemen thank y'all for coming back to the share can i vent g show we have the people in the audience y'all having a good time yeah. all right once again we are filming right here at jazzy jacks at the denver pavilions downtown denver colorado so my next guest we have has a great story he has a new stage play dvd out called for the sake of the children y'all give it up please for mr william pierce thank you very much william 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 how you feel, man? I feel with my hands. Okay, then. You feel with your hands. All the way from uh, Minnesota, ain't you? Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, this is summertime weather for you, ain't it? I got off the plane, I started sweating. He started sweating. <laughs> <laughs> we, we was in the car. We was in the car. He looking around. He got his shirt off. I'm like, man, put your shirt on. <laughs> yeah, it was like 50 degrees here. He said, this is summertime for him. He's like, through the sunroof. <laughs> so that's it, man. Well, welcome to Denver, man. How, how you like Denver so far? Well, so far, I don't like it. What? what? I love it. Oh, all right. Still you know you weren't going to make it out of Jazz and Jacks. Yeah, I, 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 was, I have to say that because, you know, there's too many people here for me to say I don't like Denver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also want to say congratulations uh, on the show. Oh, man, yeah, Shea that's cool. can I vent? Can I vent? Yeah, vent, vent, vent no, uh, William, vent. vent yet, okay, yet, all right, don't do that. All right, you know I got to copyright it, so if you okay. vent, I'm going to get paid. No. <laughs> But no, we have a lot of stuff that's going on, man. I mean, when, when, when I talked, when I first met you, my, um, my cousin Vince, when I was in Minnesota, I came out and opened up for one of your plays. And then um, the play was great. And I, I was intrigued about how, how you start writing and things of that nature. Now, your story is kind of different than a lot of what are these stage play writers out there are doing. I mean, can, can you share with us, if you don't mind, your story? Uh, I started writing plays in 1998. Um, I was just involved with uh, black history programs and I wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. And I started writing slave plays. Mm -hmm. And uh, I continued to write and uh, my story, actually I was writing, I was incarcerated. In what? Incarcerated. That's in prison. <laughs> Everybody understand what they mean? That's jail or no? <laughs> J-A. Okay, so, so you was incarcerated, okay. Yes. Uh, actually, one thing I'd like to tell people be careful who you hang around. Right. One, one moment of pleasure can cause you a lifetime of misery. Right. Uh, I had friends that I shouldn't have been hanging around. I was involved with the music at the time. I was a, right. um, I was a manager of a few groups. And went and took a trip to Chicago right. with friends. And of course, I was involved in some activity at the time that I'm not proud of. But uh, we got to stop by the highway patrol. And I, uh, the, the car was searched. And my friend, so to speak, right. testified against me. Oh. Uh, friends. Friends. Frenemies. You know, friend. Frenemies. Right. So um, I received a 20 year prison sentence mm. and served 14 years and seven months of that prison sentence. Mm. But I, I, I made a promise to God if I got out, and I got out two years earlier, mm. that I would continue to do uh, the things that I was doing there. And I started, again, I started writing in 1998, and the uh, character, Grandpa, the character I played, uh, it was born in Memphis, Tennessee. Right. In 2001, got yeah. it. So um, I started writing and continued to write because I didn't want that time to do me. I want to do the time. Oh, say that again. Uh, I like that. I didn't say want that. that time to do me. I want to do the time. I received two degrees: uh, a bachelor in Christian counseling and also associate in business. So I, I do what I do because I want people to understand that no matter your condition, no matter your situation, you can make it. Right. And we have a tendency to. Uh, fall back on, I can't do this because of this or this or where I grew up or where I come from. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you can do mm -hmm. if you just do it. Right. You, you know, so um, when I got out, I started my company, Second Chance Productions, because I was given a second chance. Right. And I said, if I get out of here, God, if you get me out, mm -hmm. then I will do what you asked me to do. Mm -hmm. The talent that you showed me that I have in right. the situation because every bad situation is not really bad. Right. It's just bad to us at that time. Right. But in that situation, we find out who we really are. Yes. And you find out who your friends are. Right. 
So I started writing when I got out in 2008. My first uh, stage play. Yeah, I was going to say, now, now what, was your, what was your first stage play? Tell my me. My Man or My Child. My Man or My Child. I want uh, make them repeat what you just said. My Man, help me out. My, my Man or My Child. Mm, and something, I'm about to fall out. something that's very prevalent in our society where a lot of single women, mm -hmm. whether they try to or not, mm -hmm. inadvertently or whatever the case may be, they are putting somebody else. Mm -hmm or something else before their children. Right. And so that's what I want to portray. I wanted something uh, that really would catch people's attention. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I started with, A Man and My Child. So it's a very good stage play. Of course, it's, it's my start. Right. That's, and, now, uh, now, now, when I saw it, I mean, in Minnesota, you did something that I've never seen. Um, like, when you brought everybody out, you incorporated like all of the local, you know what I'm saying? You brought all of the local, y'all don't understand, he had, he touched every part of that state and had them involved with the play. And that's something that, that, that is given back. Now, was that hard to get people? Because a lot of times when, when you see people try to do things on their own, was it hard for them, it, it was hard for you to get people to come along even though the pay is not you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know what it is. I ain't working first. for you. How much I get paid? How much I get paid? I said it right. How much I get paid? You know, but that's what it is. Now, was that hard for you? Not necessarily, because remember what I went through. Right. And I felt that if I could make it through that, mm -hmm. I can make it through anything. There it is. Determination. I was determined to make it regardless. And right. when people tell me I couldn't, mm -hmm. it made me work harder. Mm -hmm. So I just impressed upon people, if you believe in me. Right. If you work with me, mm -hmm. we're going to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I did that, and I still in people. I, I went out to find people who, that I felt believed in me. Right. Because if people don't believe in your dream or right. your idea, you won't make it. And I know. And I know. So let's get into this now. Let's talk about it. Y'all give it up for that. Y'all, that's good. <laughs> let's talk about this stage play right here. Tell, tell me and, and the community about this for the sake of the children. This is your play right here. That's your baby. It's Tell me bad. about that. Tell me about that. For the sake of the children. Tell for the sake of the children. Again, we, we want to impress upon people that the children. Right. We cry about the children. We say they're not doing this. That, but what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you doing to help the children? We have to do something. We have to take back the community. We have to take back our neighborhoods. We have right. to take back our homes. Right. So for the sake of the children, you need to do something for the sake of them. If right. you don't want to do it for yourself, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of your children. Uh, the idea came about, you know, I have some family members that are involved in some things for us, not involved in illegal activity, but mm -hmm. they're going through some things. Right. So I want to come up with this idea that this drug mother, mm -hmm. drug addicted mother, mm -hmm. uh, which is my daughter in the play, right. comes over and just drops the children off mm -hmm. and leaves. You Where do you get that from? Nobody ever do that. Nobody ever just They do that. it all the time. <laughs> Mama, can you watch my kids? No, I, I mean, don't ask me. Yeah. Daddy, can you watch? No, I can't watch your kids. Why you can't watch them? Where the yeah. daddy at? Right, right. Why he ain't watching them? So, yeah. uh, of course, she has three children mm -hmm. by three different men. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, she cares more about her addiction, addiction right. than she does her children. Right. So um, that, that idea came from that. And so we wanted to portray, of course, you in the play. Yes, Cedric, I'm, yes, give I'm it up in Cedric. the play. Yes, I'm in the play. I'm Cedric, in the play. yeah, he's in the play. He plays my friend, Emmett. Can you give me a little bit of Emmett? Um, I, play, I play Emmett, and I'm a, um, I'm a stuttering. I, 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 I talk like this, do the, uh, do the uh, uh, whole play. And I'm, I'm going to tell you about that. I was such a character. I went to the airport the next day. <laughs> Yeah, like, say, what's your name? My man, my man, my, my name, the name is. <laughs> but tell so, me who else is in, is in this play. We have a Lil G from Lil Silk. Lil G from Silk. He's in the play. Uh, mm -hmm. Isaac Keys is also Keys. here. He's uh, was on a Donald Trump ultimate yeah. merger. And also, right. he's an ex Viking. Yes. You know, sort of Viking, that mm -hmm. is. Arizona yeah. Carter. Right. And uh, my, my, the lady who plays my wife, Edith Jasper. Right. Uh, she plays Hattie B. Right. Now, you always have that mother. Mm -hmm. and motherly figure. And that's what I want to do. I want to get back to those grandparents, mm -hmm. the, 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 the concrete mm -hmm. of the family. Talk so, about, you're talking about them grandparents, the grandmama that's on the porch. Yeah, mama and With a fly grandmama swatter, them, yes. just on the porch, killing yeah. flies. And, and would take her shoe and throw it at you. And, and hit you and with hit the you. same fly swatter that got the dead fly out. Shut up! Dipping the snuff, and, and you know what I'm saying? You get stung by a bee to take the snuff and, <laughs> and put, you know. <laughs> 
Oh, go ahead, continue. Continue on, continue So, uh, Hattie B is, is the, uh, you know, she the matriarch of the family. She's the one who, the love it. Right. I'm the one that, look, if you had them, you raise them. Right. So she's the one that wanted to bring the kids over because the state wanted to take the children from her because right. she's not going to court. Right. So now had to be wanted to bring the kids in to the mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. And we already got enough problems. Yeah. We don't need no more problems. Right. And these kids, they, you know, they. The, it, look, look, okay, that's enough. That's okay. enough. You see, don't give, them, don't give them too much. Yeah, Grandpa. Don't give them too much. Now, for the sake of the children, if somebody wants to go get this DVD, um, you, you do have them here tonight. I so people can purchase. So y'all can purchase this DVD here tonight. And then also, what, what is your website? It's Second Chance Productions, all spelled out. And that's production with an S at the end, not at the beginning. It's production not spelled with no S. Uh-huh. Okay. Anyway. So it's at the end. At the end. Okay. Yes. Right. Dot B-I-Z. B-I-Z. Yes. And they can uh, purchase all three. We have a soundtrack as well um, for $25. That's a hookup. That's, that's the hookup. Not hook a hookup, the hookup. Okay. And, uh, so they can go there, and all they can call 612-840-3321. Now, you know you don't. Okay, say that again. People can't. 612-840. It's not O, zero. Mm -hmm. Three, three, two, one. Put, yeah, is that on the play? Oh, yeah, yeah. People always we say do that. do O, oh. don't we? Oh, A for O, that ain't O. O? That's an alphabet. alphabet. <laughs> What's your number? 303. Three, oh. So I'm going to hit in the O and what? <laughs> It ain't dialing. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up for Mr. William Pierce right here. He's going to be doing so much stuff. Make sure you go to secondchanceproductions.biz. We're going to do We'll be right back with this. <laughs> oh. Oh. 